So you gotta show up, baby. You gotta show up the real you. You gotta give them what you got. No, no, don't let them say what you got. Cause you are strong. You are wise. You are worth beyond a thousand reasons why. And you can be perfect, baby. Cause no one is perfect. Good morning, Lagos. You're welcome to Dream City on Unilag Radio 103.1 FM. My name is Comfort Wahonye or just Confuso. You're welcome to the show this beautiful Saturday morning. It's our Dream City Quiz Challenge segment. Who is the you're welcome. So, how do we do this right now? Just call the number 081 Those are the numbers to call. And when you do call in, pick a number from 1 to 15. Each number has five questions. If you attend three correctly, you get to win airtime. If you attend the five of them correctly, you also get to win airtime as well. The numbers to call again are 081 or you can call 080 6338. The questions are general knowledge questions, current affairs, and science related questions. So, if you're very good with any of this, feel free to call to be part of this quiz segment this morning. And if you answer three correctly, you win airtime. If you answer the five of them correctly as well, you get to win airtime. The numbers to call again 08133038749. Hello, good morning. Hello. Okay, zero eight one double three zero three eight seven four nine zero zero two zero nine double three six three eight. Those are the numbers to call to be part of our quiz segment this morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What is your name? My name is Tokwe. Where are you calling me from? Talk by for my bell cutter. All right, pick a number, talk by. Pick a number, pick a number, talk by. Question number five. Okay, are you ready? All right, question number five. With what is UNICEF concerned? With what is UNICEF concerned? A, children. B, animals. C, economy. D, euthanasia. Children is correct. Question number two. What allows a website to save user data locally in the web browser? What allows a website to save users data locally in the web browser? A. Hyperlink. B. Cookie. C. Breadcrumbs. D. Ribbon. Cookie. Cookie is correct. Question number three. Are you ready? That's your winning number. Are you ready? Are you ready for number three? Question number three. The pericardium encloses the dash. The pericardium encloses the dash. A. Lungs. B. Heart. C. Stomach. D. Uterus. Uterus. Oh, uterus is wrong. But thanks for calling. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Kaya, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. Very well, thank you. Where are you calling us from today? All right, pick a number. Question number 11. Okay, question number 11. Are you ready? Yes. All right, question number 11. Which of these colors is not part of the Olympic color? Which of these colors is not part of the Olympic colors? A, blue. B, yellow. C, green. D, purple. Purple is correct. Question number two. Which is a characteristic of a tropical rainforest? Which is a characteristic of a tropical rainforest? A. High humidity. B. Low biodiversity. C. Cold climate. D. Little precipitation. Oh, B is wrong. B is wrong. But thanks for calling, Kayode. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Your name is what? Kamal, Kamal. Kamal from Ajegunle. All right, pick a number. Number two. Question number two. 
Question number two. Okay, are you ready? Question number two. Universal adult suffrage means dash. Universal adult suffrage means dash. A. Everybody can vote. B. Only children can vote. C. Women can't vote. D. Qualified citizens can vote. Or D is correct. Question number two. A system in which no single person serves as the chief executive is known as dash. A system in which no single person serves as the chief executive is known as dash. A. Parliamentary. B. Presidential. C. Military. D. Fascism. The five seconds is over. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? My name is Tunde. Tunde, where are you calling me from? Tunde, where are you calling from? Hello, Tunde, are you there? Tunde, from where? Tunde, can you speak up, please? Mikeja. Tunde for Mikeja. All right, pick a number, Tunde. Number. Number. Number six. Number six. Okay. Are you ready? Number Question number six. What is the capital of India? What is the capital of India? A. New Delhi. B. Mumbai. C. Jaipur. D. Bangalore. What did you say? That is correct. Question number two. In the absence of oxygen, muscles produce dash. In the absence of oxygen, muscles produce dash. A. Lactic acid. B. Phenol. C. Progesterone. D. Retinol. What did you say? Renol is not correct. But thanks for calling. <laughs> Zero eight one double three zero three eight seven four nine zero eight zero two zero nine double three six three eight. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Yeah, this is Manasi calling from Yaba. Manasi from Yaba. Pick a number. Number three. Question number three. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Question number three. Enugu Rangers, Kano Pillars, Heartland, and Lobby Stars are famous Nigerian dash. Enugu Rangers, Kano Pillars, Heartland, and Lobby Stars are famous Nigerian dash. A. Hotels. B. TV soap operas. C. Football clubs. D. National parks. That is correct. Question number two. Compared to humans, dogs dash. Compared to humans, dogs dash. A. Have fewer teeth. B. Have worse hearing. C. Can see fewer colors. D. Have more stomachs. What did you say? B is not correct. <laughs> not correct. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Zero eight one double three zero three eight seven four nine. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? My name is Shay. Shay, where are you calling me from? From Ringwood. Shay, you from Ringwood. All right, pick a number. Number one. Question number one. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, question number one. What does the five Olympic rings symbolize? What does the five Olympic rings symbolize? A. Union of the five continents. B. Political differences. C. Love. D. Sovereignty of the continent. Union of the five continents. That is correct. Question number two. Which of the following is not a continental United States time zone? Which of the following is not a continental United States time zone? A. Pacific. B. Mountain. C. Eastern. D. Western. Western is correct. Hold on. Question number three. Are you ready? Yeah. In what year did Tony Blair become British 
Prime Minister. In what year did Tony Blair become British Time Prime Minister? A. 1997, B. 1999, C. 1994, and D. 1992. 1992. Oh, that is wrong. That is wrong. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? My name is Stephen. What's your name? Stephen. 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 Stephen, where are you calling me from? Yeah. From Mushin. Stephen from Mushin. All right, pick a number, Stephen. Number seven. Question number seven. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right, question number seven. What line divides Earth into Northern and Southern Hemisphere? What line divides Earth into Northern and Southern Hemisphere? A. Arctic Cycle B. Equinox C. Meridian D. Equator 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 is correct. Question number two. Which seasoned liquid can be poured over meat before cooking? Which seasoned liquid can be poured over meat before cooking? A. Amadine B. Granite oil. C. Marinade. D. Defilade. A. Amadine. B. Granite oil. C. Marinade. D. Defilade. C. C is correct. Question number two. Number three, rather. Which of these is a non renewable resource? Which of these is a non renewable resource? A. Sunlight. B. Natural gas. C. Biomass. D. Wind. Sunlight. Oh, sunlight is wrong. Sunlight is wrong. Thanks for calling. <laughs> okay, zero eight one double three zero three eight seven four nine. We have about two minutes to go, and we're done with this segment. Zero eight one double three zero three eight seven four nine zero eight zero two zero nine double three six three eight. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Joy from Ajegunle. All right, pick a number. Number six. Question number six has been taken. Pick another number. Number eleven. Number eleven. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Eleven has been taken. I have ten, twelve, eight, nine. Okay. Number twelve. Number twelve. Question number twelve. All right, are you ready? Question number 12. What is a self-organizing group of individuals or companies that pursue a shared interest? What is a self-organizing group of individuals or companies that pursue a shared interest? A. Synergy. B. Fellows. C. Syndicate. D. Synchrony. A. Synergy. B. Fellows. C. Syndicate. D. Synchrony. Oh, this is wrong. <laughs> this is wrong. But thanks for calling. <laughs> zero eight one double three zero three eight seven four nine zero zero two zero nine double three six three eight. Those are the numbers to call. I can take one more call, and we are done with this segment. It's so surprising that we don't have any winner today. Two weeks ago, we had about three winners on the show. So what's happening? The questions are not hard now. It's not that bad. Zero eight one double three zero three eight seven four nine zero zero two zero nine double three six three eight. One more call, and we are done with this segment. But if not, let's get to meet our guest. Time check. It's ten fifteen. We'll go for this quick break. When we come back, mm, let me take this call. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? I'm Ephraim from Yaba. Ephraim from Yaba. Pick a number. Number eight. Question number eight. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Question number eight. Bats are dash. Bats are dash. Insects. A. Insects. B. Mammals. C. Reptiles. D. Birds. Mammals, that's correct. Question number two. How long does it take the, the mass to complete one revolution? How long does it take the mass to complete one revolution? A. 687 B. 686 C. 689 and D. 678 Oh, that is wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. Well, thanks for calling. 
and that's it for our quick segment this morning we go for this quick break and when we come back we get to meet our guest today we're talking comedy you know how to make people laugh you are very good at that but how can you make money from it that is what we're talking about today so stick around i'll be back after this break It was fine. You got to go good money. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> is fast, easy, and convenient. And more importantly, it can be used on any phone type as it requires no data. Dial star 966 hash to get started now. Zenith Bank, in your best interest. Are you ready? Okay, so let's do this. Are you coming in? Coming. Perpetual, how are you now? Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> really, like really. Yeah, you want to do hug. that? Don't hug me. Don't hug me. I'm going on there. Take, 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 take. Okay. Live video. Don't hug okay. me. Don't hug me yet. <laughs> Ella. Alright. You're welcome back if you're just tuning in. This is still Dream City on Unilag Radio 103.1 FM. Today we're talking the business side of comedy. And we have someone here. A comedian, of course, who is going to help us with that particular topic. So remember, you can be part of the show at some point. Feel free to um, call in or ask questions. Call in to ask questions or make a comment, as the case may be. So my guest, let's let's have a background knowledge of who he is. My guest is popularly known as TMO. Um, he's a fast-rising stand-up comedian with his own style of delivery in the comedy industry. He has performed in various comedy shows in Lagos and Nigeria as a whole, including the Alibaba Spontaneity, Stand Up Nigeria produced by Gumi Davis and many others. He has several recognitions and, has, and was awarded in 2019 as the Fast Rising Comedian of the Year by the Nigerian Achievers Award, Intellect Comedian of the Year 2020 by the Talent Africa Awards, to mention a few. TMO is also a certified master of ceremony for all kinds of events ranging from weddings, birthdays, get-togethers and what have you. He is funny and a very fashionable young man. I have Mushibola Tom Taiwo on Chim City, aka TMO. Good morning, welcome to the show. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Were well, you thinking I wasn't going to call TMO when I said, when I mentioned your full name? <laughs> I know you had a fact with me last night that change it now, my put TMO on the ass, and I'm wondering, but it's still your name. Because so why TMO are you particular? Actually... Why are you particular about that name? Tell me, let's start from there. Uh, you know the name TMO, uh, it came like an inspiration giving me sleepless nights. Mm. So I'm always feeling more comfortable when you call me TMO, even when you, more than when you call me my name. So you are forgotten surname. about your name now? Not that I'm forgotten, like I'm so comfortable <laughs> with it. Even my mom, so mm. comfortable. everybody is so comfortable, like the TMO, TMO is very short, precise. Mm. So that's just why I just, okay, once you call me TMO, yeah, good to I'm go. good to go. The inspiration okay. comes, the ginger. Mm. I feel like, yes, I'm comfortable. Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, let's go for this quick break. I think we have the little technical issue. Let's sort that out and then I'll be back. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Go and check again. I, I missed the talk better. Okay. Check, 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 check. I tell you to talk. Okay. Can you hear me now? What's going on? Okay, like I said earlier, we have TMO here in the studio and we're talking the business side of comedy. So TMO, at what point in your life did you realize that you could actually make people laugh? Uh, before I answer that question, uh, because when I saw the topic, the business side of comedy, I was like, ah, it's a big pass me. <laughs> no, it's not big pass me. <laughs> how much I don't even really make self. Mm. You should not be as if ah, this guy they make the make money. money. Mm. But on the most serious note, it's what we were told that we met is lucrative, mm. of which it is. But it's we'll get there. Step by step. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> okay, we'll get there. But when did you realize that? Okay. I can actually make people laugh. I could say something and people would laugh. You know, sometimes it comes naturally, but when you do come to that relation, like, ah, this thing what they do, like in a money day inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, talking has been my own thing, right from day one. Mm. Even when you tell me to keep quiet, I was still keep, I still want to give you the last punchline. Mm. To the extent that even when I was in school, let me start from my tender age, noise makers. I know my name is there. I was supposed to make money. I just say, hello. Time's fine. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> now we run now. So you get. Yeah. So even today, like, when the teacher comes in, he wants to flog us. I will sit up. So you understand? 
So, apart from the talking, being funny, uh, some people say hey, you have to react, do some people react, but it's a gift. Okay. When you, like, if one of these person is funny, when you drop, make 10 sentences, mm. 8. It will be funny. It should be funny, naturally funny. Not like mm. you want to crack them up, but you just said it naturally, out of... It comes naturally. Yeah. Just, you just said your mind. Like, for instance, now, on our way here, mm. we were stopped by the policeman. Okay. Yes, that. So I said something. Instead of not, not attack like you passed the traffic light of which we did not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So and I said something. I can't remember what I said. I just started laughing. He said, "Go, go, 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 go." <laughs> not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Going. Interested. Okay. So what's the reaction you get from people when you tell them that I'm a comedian? What, what, what do, do they take you serious? Yeah, that's the problem. That's where the problem comes from. When you tell people I'm a comedian, even for you yourself, for you to say it, you will laugh. First. You first be like, should I say it? Okay, on on Friday I was in bank to upgrade my account. Okay. So maybe it was it used to be a student account, but I've I've forgotten. Mm. So I had to I wanted to transfer huge amount to the account. So mm. I was sent a text message that the account might be restricted from transactions. So yeah. I had to go to bank. So the guy that asked me that what do you do? <laughs> she understand I wanted to upgrade that was so we have to look at ourselves. Like uh, how am I supposed to answer that question, right? Yes that mm. so I have to tell him, okay, fine. I'm an entertainer. He said, "What aspect?" I said, "Okay, I'm a comedian." Mm. So when I said, "I'm a comedian," his other colleagues they looked at me, and they nod their head. Like, do you think people <laughs> consider you jobless when you tell them that you're a comedian? She gets. This guy, this one, they're just jesters. <laughs> but at the same time, we are joking to the bank and we are mm. cashing out. Mm. She gets. Yes, yes. So yes. that's just when you want to tell people, or for instance, your relationship aspect. Mm. You go to your friend's house. Mm. The father asks, "What do you do for the evening?" He says, yeah, actually, sir. <laughs> I'll recommend you. Even okay, even before you visit them, mm. in your absence, your fiance will be like, okay, fine. What do you want to tell my dad you do for a living? Exactly. I say, my dad doesn't even watch TV. Tell him I'm on TV. Yeah, on TV. <laughs> <laughs> then you get doesn't mm. listen to this thing. Tell him I'm there. Then you mm. go and watch this show. Mm. Like uh, so, it will be a day she just have to plan. Or he will be like, okay, fine. Let's wait. That please come and watch this, um, this show. Program. Show. I don't think that is enough. And that's the person that's coming tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So, 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 aside that, you think other people don't take you seriously when you're required to fill in some other details outside, you know, in other places. Mm. What's the look on people's faces when you tell them I'm a comedian? Are you too? How do you tell them you're a comedian? I wait for the day you need my service too, so I don't take you serious. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> they will not come back to the round table. Okay. So, not, not dialogue. Okay, mm. fine. Mm. I want your service, so, 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 so they will, will go on. But mostly, I feel free to tell people I'm a comedian. Okay. I'm an MC. Hmm. I tell people I'm a comedian Mondays to Friday. Okay. Then Friday to Sunday, yeah. I'm an MC. MC. She okay. gets. Okay. Because I want to do business. Mm. Business and comedy. Mm. Because Fari Pasu. Okay. So, now, it's a different thing to be naturally funny and another thing to be able to crack people up. So, how do you how do you come up with your jokes? Okay. Uh, that was why, uh, that's why we have a show called Alibaba Spontaneity. She mm. is that. You might be funny, you might have jokes, one million jokes written down, but it doesn't work for every venue. It doesn't work for every atmosphere. Mm, every crowd. So it's when you get there, mm. you will be okay, fine, I've seen something like this, I've seen something like this. That is why uh, the comedy, apart from being naturally funny, you need to work with some people, look at the way they drop it before you now start building your own brand. Mm. I've worked with so many senior comedians, I've worked with like Baba, I've worked with. Um, but I've worked with Ashira uh, mm. this time. So when you get there, you look at what they're doing. Like, okay, fine, these people are doing this thing. But they didn't say this thing when we were coming. But when they got there, they picked up on this person, this guest, this material. Yeah, you, you guys do that a lot. Sure you get. I'm waiting for you to so at the end of the day, we like, na joke, we're mm, just joking. Mm. So that's, what, that's what you want. Because you don't want us to come and tell us, tell you a joke we said in yes, last year, last year. Sure you get. So okay, that's so just it. How, how long have you been doing comedy? And also tell us about the first time you got on the stage to actually perform. How did you feel? Man, my first time, my first time going on stage. Should I say? Should, do you want it in campus life or outside school? Because when you're in school, you're not doing perform. You're not the really first doing time the. You climb any stage. Any stage. Yes. Ah, that was in church. Okay. That was in church. Tell that us was. About it. I didn't know even know I was doing comedy. You know when they come and meet you, ah, mm. you, know, you see that can talk, you like to talk, just come and the people are not ready, drama group are not ready, just go and do something. Yeah. Like, ah, yes, evangelist, ah, <laughs> if anything happens, it's church, you just, just, you know you cannot do mistake, just go. Mm, so mm, you get, mm. that was maybe 2007, so I just did. How, how did that make you feel? 
I didn't want to send any feedback. But at the end of the day, they called me like, ah, you did well, you consider mm. it. So you get. And okay. from there, it will take you like, okay, well, the church, the province, all the province under this church, mm. they are having mm. this in common. Come on, okay, so outside church now, tell us. Outside uh, church. That, that, that one is massive. Tell us about because it. Because it's mixed. People that don't believe in you. Mm. People that believe in you. People that came depressed. People that are already happy. People that just want you to talk and go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People that just feel like, okay, well, Let's just come and use him and wash. Mm. They, they told us it's funny. Let's go and stone him. Mm. So, yeah, and those things are part of the things that make you grow. Yeah. You can't do it with negative. Mm. So, when we go on stage outside, like you said, outside the church, outside the, yeah. your own comfort zone, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. man, you are going there with full force. So, so how was it? The first time you went outside the comfort zone, what happened? Uh, I dropped it and I left. How was the crowd? The crowd was welcoming. Like, okay, okay, fine. One thing about comedy is when you're meeting me for the first time, you want to hear me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's only if you've watched me before, you know what I can do. Yeah. If you heard my name before, you're like, okay, they've told me. Mm-hmm. Somebody said, somebody said. Yes. But now you're not seeing me. Okay. There is no, no matter what you do, you're doing at that moment. Once they call this person on stage, you've not seen the person before, you want to pay attention. And so what does this guy even have? Let's do she, hear him yes. out. Let's hear so him. my first time on stage, mm. I went there, I did what I was supposed to do. And I said, thank you for listening. And I was still on stage. I actually forgot myself because I was like, ah, I've never seen this kind of face before. I was like, okay, you you come on, what you get? So, immediately I said, thank you for listening. Mm. So, me, I was ministering because I said, thank you for listening. I don't forget that thing in my life. Like, mm. I was going to say, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the comedians or thank yeah, you for the time. The so, the I said, thank you for listening. Like, I, I was delivering there. a poem or something. Yeah. So, I, I honestly stood there. So, it was like that, my standing, that I gave them something like, to laugh about. They started like, clapping. Mm. So the MC of the day that asked my mission, ah, Baba, you do it. You don't do come out now. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. Okay, um, listeners at home, remember you can be part of the show. If you have questions for TMO, we have a comedian here in the studio today. And we are talking about the business side of comedy. How can you convert that comedy? How can you convert that talent that you have into something that you that can actually make you money? The number is to call 081-33-038749-0802-093-6368. If you have questions or you want to make a comment, feel free to call the phone lines. I'll take them again. 081-33-038749-0802-093-6368. So, Tiamo, how long does it take you to come up with a job? If you're going for a show right now and you're preparing, how long does it take you to come up with a job? And what's, what's your thought process? What's going through your head when you're trying to, you know, come up with one joke? Yeah, it's really hard. And that's one of the reasons why you sometimes... So you can't calm down. Yeah, because <laughs> that one is really touching. When you want to come up with a joke, with mm. the material, sometimes you need absolute silence. You just mm. want to be on your, your privacy. Mm. And sometimes you need noise. Okay. So it's very about, about the material you want to write at that time, at that moment. Mm. For instance, you you can't be indoor twenty four hours and you expect a joke like a ghetto joke to come up. No, it won't. Mm. It's on when you go to the streets, when you look, all these guys are doing like for example what you can see on the streets. Yeah. Women, mm. downfo drivers, conductors, policemen. So you want to write a material like that. If you have not passed through the streets, you cannot bring up materials like that. Mm-hmm. But when you want to write some intelligent jokes, you just want to be, might need privacy. You might need to carry read books. Mm-hmm. You might need to watch series, movies, so you yeah. get. So it varies on what you want to drop. The material you want to drop. Okay, you're going for this show. You're going for this event. Mm-hmm. These are the set of people that come. The kind of Do you usually come. get that brief? That okay, these are sure. the people that sure. make up the audience, sure. and you know. Sure. Like, uh, I received a call last week and I was like, okay, fine. The person went straight to the point. The client tried it. I said, you are our only option. They told us you are an intelligent comedian. You do intelligent jokes. And it's a boat crew. So we don't mm. want all those people to come and shout. They don't they talk, say, they talk, say, mm-hmm. get one boy. So I was like, okay, fine. What do you want us to do? He said, we want an intelligent comedian because people that are coming there are corporate people. Mm. Though it's a boat crew, but we want an MC that's also a corporate comedian. I said, okay, okay fine, no problem. So we went ahead. So mm-hmm. people always have their choice of comedians. You can be a comedian. Everybody have their own choice. So when it's time, maybe they're doing a uh, 
an open event, they know okay. the kind of comedians to call. Mm. When they're doing a, a campus show, they know those to call. call yeah. When there's a company that's having a, an AGM, a general yeah. meeting, they, yeah. have, they know who to call. So every comedian have their own audience. You have to, surely you always have someone that. Can so find. Can, can you fit into all of these various sectors that you've mentioned right Man, now? To be sincere, we are a barriga boy. I can fix into anything. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want us to do English, we do. If you want us to do mm. pigeon, mm. we do pigeon. Mm. So okay. there is the uh, one thing about comedy is even when I'm speaking pigeon, I know I'm speaking pigeon. Exactly. So yeah, I'll, I'll just fix it in okay, our flow. Hold on, let, let, let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello? Oh, okay, you can call us back 0813-038749 or you can call 0802-093-6368. These are the numbers to call. Let's quickly pay some bills. When we come back, we'll continue with our interview with TMO. Stick around. Is that one? Should I stop it? No, no, no. no. Purchase airtime and data, make transfers to any bank in Nigeria, pay bills and make POS payments, create a wallet account, and perform other self-service options like PIN and password reset, and temporarily block it from your account. Starlight City Cash is fast, easy, and convenient. And more importantly, it can be used on any phone type as it requires no data. Dial Starlight City Cash to get started now. Send it back in your best interest. Okay, so let's go back. If you can place it, if you can place it just in front of him or something, so we can just try and see if you can. If you can use the bell, really figure it out. I'm going back again. Okay. Someone is trying to call us. So going back. I'm going back. Yeah, welcome back. It's still Dream City on your lag radio one zero three from one FM. We have a call. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning, welcome to the show. What's your name? My name is Adebayo. Adebayo, where are you calling me from? Oh, okay. Adebayo, please call us back. 08133038749 or you can call 08020993638. Those are the numbers to call. So feel free to um, call us if you, ask, if you have a question for TMO or you want to shout out to him. Or he, or he has worked for you before. He has come to MC your event. You know, say a thing or two. Just call in and you know say a thing or two to him as well. I think anybody is calling back. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Your name is what? Gifts from Ikorodu. Peace, peace. Okay, peace, Omikoro. Do you have a question for my guest? Go ahead. Okay, his first time of being an MC, was he nervous? Yeah. Okay, all right. He'll take your question now. Thank you so much, Peace, for calling. Okay. All right, so Peace wants to find out that the first time you got on the stage, were you nervous? Sure, sure. Nobody does it for the first time and get it, like, instantly. instantly. Mm. You'll be like, I don't know these people. Even mm. if I've collected a part of the payments, I'll be like, I want to collect my balance. So I have to do something. So you have to do something to get them, sure you right? get. So surely I was nervous, but, mm. but thank God I dropped what I know how to do best. Mm. Fine, let's do it now. It's what we, we've been craving for. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we have another call. Let's hear what you have to say. Hello? 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 Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's your name? My name is Toby. Toby, where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Ogun State. Toby from Ogun State. Do you have a question for my guest? Question? Do you have a question for my guest that you want to shout out to him? Yeah. Yeah, I want to shout out and I have a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Mr. Toby. I can hear you very well. <laughs> when I come to what? Okay. Practice what? 
Is it looking sharp? <laughs> oh, oh, you'll be monitoring my post. Okay. Okay, okay, okay Mr. Toby. Uh, the you thing will is. Take your question now. Thank you so much, Toby, for calling. Uh, <laughs> All right. Go ahead. So the same question most people ask me. Like, oh, TMO, you, you don't know wear all these clothes. On your own wedding day, what do you want to wear? The truth is, you know, when you've worked with the right channel, like I said earlier, I've worked with a couple of senior comedians, they will tell you your dress is your address and your appearance speaks. When an MC enters an event, they don't need to ask you, are you the MC? Mm. Is your appearance they say, ah now nah, the MC be that they need to be able to differentiate you from every other attendees every other every other guest so you don't have to go and say ah good afternoon i'm the MC you called i'm mm. the dc called no mm. no no so that's one thing i've learned from the senior colleagues i've worked with once you step into an event the way you carry your steps the way you carry your body your appearance your look the black now the MC be that once, once they know that well, have you not gone into an event okay. that you were not the best dressed that's why I'm saying that those who have worked with have told us that's mm. just like mm. if you dress this way, mm. they will address you this way and they will tell you not to bother, even if they have paid you. Like, okay, we've okay. part paid. Hold, hold on, we have another call. Hello, good morning. Hello, I can hear you. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Damala, where are you calling me from? Damala from Shumur. Go ahead, you have a question for my guest. Okay. Wow, interesting. Wow. We can't even remember. <laughs> Where was that? <laughs> wow, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, so you very much. much. Are you to don't stop referring us to your friends? <laughs> you are still in business. <laughs> okay. So, um, Clem, I wanted to tell me about the first time you were paid for for an MC job. Officially paid or indirectly paid? Officially paid. I, I know. <laughs> what was the first time you received money, even in his back pocket? So you just take some money that transfer. Money that money. Five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> man that was i cannot say it's embarrassing mm. but now i can say it was touching okay but then i was like ah, maybe they even at least maybe they even drop something mm. like don't mm. worry we'll do you well we'll do your transport so you get mm-hmm. i was like ah let's go and do this thing and i was not really doing anything so i had to go come in mm. you get mm. I was, the fun when you are enjoying doing something passion say i want one day shall it will be sha. exactly she gets exactly but, but but when did you now decide that you are going to stop collecting whatever was offered to you and inside that you're going to put a structure mm. to whatever it is you're being paid mm, every day every day yes. i understand that because i keep growing so it doesn't mean that you don't have a structure you don't have so if someone I do. comes to you exactly that's what i that's what i'm asking what i'm what I'm, i why i said every day is because one you don't expect me to charge the amount i charge for lagos for abuja okay i can't charge what i charge 2013 2021. So as I said, every day. Mm-hmm. And for instance, if you meet me at an event, for instance, I MC the wedding around first act, okay. and it was a two hours wedding. Then you like me, you now told me that okay, you have an event at Civic Center, mm. and I'm going to be the MC. I'm going to be the after party host. host. You now expect me to say the same amount. So I, as I said, every day. Mm. But, but at least you have like a structure. You yes, have I have a minimum. That you cannot go big. Exactly. I can I have a minimum. I cannot minimum go big. Sure, you get. Mm-hmm. That's it. But every day I keep going. Then you call me for this. Event mm-hmm. varies. Mm-hmm. And once you're not careful, prices go around. Like, now my guy ain't going to do it. No worry. Just final transport. Yeah. No, no final transport. Again, you don't transport. Pay your complete money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is, is there like a standard fee comedians charge? Is it like an industry for you guys that, you know, like a body that governs all of your activities? Do you have? You know, because it's an open industry. We are trying to work on that because every now and then our senior colleagues they keep calling us for meetings. Let's talk about this, mm-hmm. but there is no official but like association. No, because it's a, it's a talent. Okay. As you're talking, as you're talking to me now, whether you like it or not, I'm touching somebody's life. Like, mommy, I'm start coming tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So it's not like we have to come and take registration. Just okay. do it. When you keep doing it, then they will discover okay, this guy too is online. Mm-hmm. Come, let them let them tutor you. Let them tell you how to. 
drop these things. Mm-hmm. You can always do it anyhow, but there's a way you drop it. Mm-hmm. There's a way it will work for you. So is, is it safe to say that the comedy you, you can actually build a career in the comedy industry? Sure. I don't know. It's, the way I said it was sure, career is, me. But but is there the comedy is my career? That's my career. You cannot take it. Even if I dabble into other businesses, if you ask me, my, I'm a comedian. Then later, okay, fine. Let's talk about business. Mm-hmm. Sure, so you cannot take it away from me. Comedy is a career. Comedy is a business mm-hmm. that we do for a living. That's what people do every now and then. That's why the comedy business is very wide. Some make money through comedy tours. Com- some make money through comedy clubs. Some yeah. make money online. That's why we have the. That's why, like we said now, we have the online comedians. Yeah. The skit makers. She, the place. skit makers. Mm. You, they, are, they are somewhat like everywhere online on your phone. You carry them up and down. But mm-hmm. the stand up are different. But they're also comedians. You cannot take that away from them. Mm-hmm. But when it now comes to the round table, we know who is stand up, who is. You understand? We know we can talk for an hour. I will know we have to be for a cameraman. Hmm. Sure you get. So they are different. But the comedy industry is an open industry. But it's when you're done doing it right, then you meet the right people that will tell you, okay, fine, this is the next thing to do to okay, push up so your career. Aside having to go on stage to, you know, crack jokes, make people laugh, what are the other things that goes on um, backstage that a comedian needs to be aware of? What are all those other things that happen backstage? Like, I don't understand. You get on, on stage. stage. Exactly. Are you talking about the personal or general? Personal and general, so when you are going to crack jokes on stage, yeah. do you have any other person doing any background job for you? Do you have um, is there anything that sure. goes on behind the stage? Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Let's say it behind the scene, yeah, okay. As a comedian, if like I I know some senior comedians that, that actually when they're planning their shows, they don't want to get distracted, okay, they give out other assignments to other people to go on and mm. do, they write their jokes Why they are some. That they want to plan their show they have those that are writing the content for them okay. just write this content for me i'll i'll purchase on it i'll build it mm. and there are some that say just write it completely then i'll personalize it as it's going to be okay. so there are so many assignments behind the stage mm. behind the scene that mm. people don't see they just come here and say okay, that's the person we want to watch yeah but you don't know what you're actually putting into into the mm-hmm. assignment mm. why before a show comes up proper there's always a pre-show Whereby you are as a comedian, you only crack up comedians. Mm. We'll be the one you just sit down. So if you can crack us up, we'll be your colleague. Yes. Then when you come reach outside, who they be? Mm. Go and kill, go and kill it. Mm. Sure you get. Mm. So there's always a pre-show. Okay. It's always so much assignment before the main Make show. Sure itself. Yes. Okay, but what about having a manager? Do you consider? Um, do you think having a manager is really important as a comedian? Mm. Do you have a comedian? You know when you're managing, you don't have a manager. Sure you get. Mm. But at the stage, you have a manager. But when you want to do a show, you always have a show manager. Okay. So you, you have a manager like per project? Yes, per project. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have a manager, you have a PA that even has another PA. Okay. So you get. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, being having a permanent manager might not work as a comedian. Okay. Because now the industry is very wide. Gone are the days when it was just few comedians. Alibaba, basket mouth. Mm-hmm. I go die. It was simple. Yes. It so you get. So you don't talk about nobody's calling anybody. But now, they would... Like what I said last week, the person I told the person, if you want uh, a comedian, mm. like tell you, you can call some. You say no, 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 no. That we want young comedians. Mm. So it's not like they don't have those people's number. They have, but they want people that are young. So now it's open. So you cannot have a manager every time, but you can always have a manager. Per project. Per project. project. Yes. Okay. Let's go for this quick break. When we come back, we'll continue with our discussion with TMO on the business side of comedy. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. They want to. They want to change back. Is Lamona right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I need to speak to your show. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've sent her a message. After the show, please see me. Let's return this. Sorry, sorry. Just give us two minutes. We just again. Okay. About your. So you bring her with the party, Abby. Yeah, don't let us really have to get there in there. You know that one. Yeah. Like, oh, you then sorry, did I tell Jingle? How many times are you supposed to do? I don't know. But I think 
Uh, why am I asking these questions really? You know, the head of radio has gone. So, I was appointed the new head of you like a friend. And I've been given a mandate to make money. So, normally I won't come here on a Saturday. So, I'm trying to monitor everything. And I don't want them to put me in trouble. Do you understand? Yeah, so, that's why I'm asking all these questions. I've sent a message to Shudi. I'm waiting for a reply. Um, you know. Yeah, but it's okay. But let's see. I'll be in the office. Alright, I'll see you Hey, well, let's make money together. Huh? Let's make money together. Uh, you know the lyrics, yeah. <laughs> talking the business side of comedy how can you make money from that talent or that gift that you have because your ability to make people laugh is a talent and it's a gift okay so um feel free to call as well if you have questions for tmo or you want to shout out to him feel free to call 081 3308749 or you can call 08020933638 those are the numbers to call to part of the show now tmo people talk about positioning they'll say oh you have to position yourself you have to be able to put yourself in these places, A and B, put yourself here, put yourself there to be able to get jobs. But how do you think you have been able to position yourself over the years that people can see you and refer you to jobs or opportunities? Yeah, uh, just like what your caller said the other time. He said, why do you always look sharp? Mm. So, for instance, someone refer me to you, okay. like this person. I'm very sure even without going on my social media and do, what you tell the person, like, this guy, and your appearance, so, number one. Then when you now come in, to me in person, like, okay, fine, I want you to be my MC, I'll tell you, okay, please go on my IG mm -hmm. and get back to me. So when you're back, to me, I'll tell you, are you okay with what you saw? You say, yeah. So that you'll be a soft, there'll be a soft landing. Are, are you okay with what you saw? You say, yeah, I'm okay with what you saw. Okay, now, I'm not go straight to the point. Mm. What can I do for you? <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, fine, I want to have an event. But so, so I think that's to justify the price you want to charge the person. <laughs> hey, sure, you know this, you know, you know, you know this thing is, when we started too, it was, mm -hmm. we thought it was uh, bad to, for an event planner or a guest to say, I've not even seen your work. Okay. We thought they were, one thing that you were, you were challenging us. So mm -hmm. we thought it was an insult, like, ah, me, me, we are funny, that, see what's in that, they asked me, saying, where my video, where my this. Mm -hmm. So later on, we started keeping records. We open the archive like okay fine you want me now okay fine this is it let me open it for you mm. so you guys just like yeah. one of it just by like a comedian told me he said ah i used to dm this event planner that i do this i do this he would come out to me for a link you know go reply me so you can't get one time you can't choke all the people waiting they use which they use yeah, no, their man. price don't go up mm. you understand you get in the course finish they don't see their finish so now and meanwhile those people that she they call they charge the same thing mm. So now their own price don't go up. My own said don't go up. She can't DM me, say, are you free? I say I'm free upon payment. <laughs> so you get, I was not like, ah, bros, why are you telling like that now? You say, yeah, now the jeans now. So she could not say, no, be say she won't come do free show. Mm -hmm. So immediately she told me, that, okay, fine, how much do you want to charge? I asked her immediately, how much did the client pay you? So you get, so I could not say, I don't really want her work again. When I need her work, mm -hmm. she don't need me. She's happy yeah. for videos, happy for pictures. So everything goes. Hand in hand. So it's the way you present yourself, the way you package yourself, the way you brand yourself. And how will I say, uh, finally, when when people see you, are they are they able to understand that yeah, this person this is what he does for a living? Because okay. when I want to market myself to you after I host an event, I will tell you I host weddings on Mondays, Tuesday. They are midweeks events. Mm -hmm. So don't come and tell me because it's a Monday, you go and call one person in your church, I'll fumble your event. Or you go and call your younger brother, you will fumble your event. So call the people, you are free. Every now and then we are free upon payment. <laughs> so you get. Okay, but would you say that comedy is a lucrative business here in Nigeria? I mean, can it pay bills? 
Sure. Comedy Can you say the real, the real bills? Like ah. bills. Comedy is paying bills and it's forever pay bills. You still forever pay bills and yeah. forever. I'll keep saying it because one, as a comedian, you are open to every industry. What are these industries? Acting. That's why mm-hmm. if you watch all sitcoms now, if there is no comedy, you don't want to watch. Even Netflix yeah. now, eighty percent is now comedy. Mm-hmm. So comedy is paying bills. So for instance, now as a comedian, you have an edge over every other person in the industry. You can wake like for instance, Kovi Daguri is an artist. Mm. He's a comedian. He's an MC. Is an actor that by the side basket mouth is an actor you want everybody wants to watch yeah, flatmates yes. okay alibaba is a is number one is yeah, a yeah, guy yeah. everywhere she you get mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you cannot come in this paying bills it's only when you know how to pitch your tent you know we are going to want to put the right place at this time what did they need at this time what's going to bring me out mm-hmm. so if you're not doing the um, how would i put it if you're not bringing in the oap aspects you're bringing in the acting aspects the musical aspects you're bringing in the comedy tours comedy clubs so comedy is very wide just like the way we are nigeria is still up and coming like we're still going there like other countries you know what okay fine you know what is at stake if i drop this thing a five minute joke i know what i'm going to get at the end of the day but now in nigeria it has to be a one-year joke but it's paying bills on a more serious note it's paying bills because now comedians know what they are doing would you advise anybody to go into comedy alone no, you can't go into comedy alone. I myself don't into comedy alone. I'm an MC. And also I do business. When you call me for we discuss, okay, fine. But just that I cannot do some business that will tell you that you're gonna bring two people that will bring two people. <laughs> I cannot do it for anybody that did not lost. See, yeah. But I, I actually talk to people, okay, let's do this. Is it gonna bring money? Mm-hmm. Is is it legal? Yes, okay, let's do it. Mm-hmm. That's it. So but my major, I'm a comedian. So when I do business with you, Directly or indirectly, I'm marketing myself to you. So you as my friend, as my colleague, as my business associate, when you want to have an event, whether your company or your family, ah, my guy, the runner, mm-hmm. she gets, you now call me. So that's how it has to be. As a comedian, you need to pitch your tent around everybody. You need to find yourself. If it's possible, you, how would I call it? They say if they don't invite you, try show face sometimes. See, you get. <laughs> okay, but how, so... Now, we talked about pricing the other time, and you talked about how, you know, the prices vary and everything. Yes. Now, for you, Lack like, students, who is also a comedian, okay. but, you know, still upcoming a comedian, how much do you think that he or she can, you know, have, like, a benchmark and say, this is the amount I will charge, I'm not going below this. I'm not talking about your own price. If you are still a student, if you are uh, still a student, okay. man, charging will be, even you, you will be stammering to charge. Hmm. Because you are in, you are you are in school, you are still trying to balance it. You are not really doing it hundred hmm. percent. You are trying to balance the act. Okay, fine. I'm a comedian. You are telling them in the ear. I'm again this one department. I phone you. Hmm. So you get if I want to enter from the house, I phone you. So they will just tell you. They will not even ask how much you charge. So you get. Hmm. I will not ask how much you charge. Like ah, I, they will just tell you. See, after you day free, come. Yeah, come, come. We want something for our department. So it's now when you are phoning like ah, maybe we find that guy something. It's only when, maybe for instance, they're bringing a show from outside campus. Yeah. They're like, okay, fine, we need in house comedians. So, you cannot... so the brand wants to pay. Mm-hmm. You will not even tell them the charges. They, will pay they already have their own budget. Mm-hmm. We want 10 comedians, we want 10 artists, we are paying each of them so so amount. Okay, as a comedian, how do you negotiate? How do you negotiate your fee? Okay, negotiation uh, varies at the same time. Just like I said, for Price varies. Mm-hmm. I'll ask you, are you okay when you saw my page? You say, yeah, okay, okay, fine. What do you want to do? Event varies. Location varies. If you're taking me for a traveling event, just know that my weekend is for you. Mm. So you're taking my Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Possibly. Possibly. So you should know that it's not what I charge for a day that you saw me in Lagos. I'm mm. going to charge for that. Mm. That's one thing. The other thing is my accommodation. Are you taking care of it or I'm taking care of it? But it's always best I take care of my team because I don't want you to go and put me in a hotel. I don't tell you my gist. Mm. They put me in an hotel in Badon. I, had, I came back with bed bug. <laughs> she gets. <laughs> so, all those things are what they call experience. Mm. So, since then, I don't allow anybody to put my company. I'll just tell them, I'll just give you the list. Mm-hmm. So, this is the total sum. She gets. Mm-hmm. You want me also to run an event? How many hours? I've, I've hosted a, a wedding for 15 minutes because wow. the husband and wife had to leave the country. So okay, immediately, okay. immediately mm-hmm. they had to come into the event center. Mm-hmm. We did the cutting of the cake, mm-hmm. and they left us in yes. the off. So you guys enjoyed the wedding. Enjoy the wedding. So there's, I'll just ask you, how many hours are we running the event? Mm-hmm. Is it two? Is it three? But the normal hours in Lagos, Lagos is four. Okay. Aside so, after party. Okay. So have you ever thought of quitting? Quitting. This comedy. What do I want to do again? <laughs> I'm not quitting. No, we die here like always. Comedians. <laughs> 
you, you, you know the thing is you cannot quit mm. me or my some of my colleagues i know you cannot quit you only feel sometimes like ah um, the whole of this week we don't even go anywhere mm. we always feel that but that week we always use it to write some things down yeah we put in our experience if i would happen for this week we'll just use and we'll just and everything. so you get but we cannot quit because we've seen what senior colleagues are enjoying mm. uh, we've seen what they are ah if, what if you make all these people stick there for this industry even yeah. some people that have left mm-hmm. comedy then that they left them basket but like this thing will be comedy now they are back like, ah, oh my, this thing a serious business mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so that's why i would say you're joking to the bank Interesting. So final words. Yes. Final words. Let's wrap this up. Final words. Uh, final words is uh, joking is a business, but we're not joking with our business. She so if when you get us, you know that yes, we mean business. Joking is a business, but we are not joking with our business. Interesting. Thank you so much, Emma, for coming on the show today. Thank you. It was fun. I had a great time talking to you on the show today. Same here. And I wish that um, I do hope that my listeners at home have been able to pick a thing or two from our interview today. And those who are aspiring comedians, I wish you guys all of the best. Do have a beautiful and a beautiful weekend. I'll come away again in time since station message Saturday. God willing, do have a beautiful and an amazing weekend. From confidence, saying bye and have a great week. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for the attention. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, culture. We are enjoying this time. So, I... <laughs> <laughs> Purchase airtime and data. Make transfers to any bank in Nigeria. Pay bills and make payments. Create a